Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so, how do you usually practice to playing a keyboard? I usually practice with my teacher in my home. <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Let me introduce myself Hello, my name is Rafi And here's my partner Hello, I'm Keisha And we are from 7.6 So, how are you today Rafi? I'm fine, thank you And how about you Keisha? I'm fine too, thank you By the way, what is our topic discussion today? Um, well, let me think first. Well, the topic of discussion today is about Abu Bakar Asidik. Wow, what do you know about Abu Bakar Asidik? So, Abu Bakar Asidik, real name is Abdul Qatba. Well, he is a descendant from a wealthy family, Panitaim, from the Quraysh tribe. Well, Abu Bakar father name is Abu Wafah Usman and Abu Bakar mother name is Salwa bin Sakar and also he earned his Abu Bakar nickname because from his childhood he really liked to spend his time playing with his two favorite animal the camel and the goats so because of his fondness of camel he got his nickname Abu Bakar which mean the father of camel so what about you Rafi? What do you know about Abu Bakar as Siddiq? What I know about Abu Bakar as Siddiq is he is the early adherent of Islam and the first Khalifah after Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away. Oh, I see. So well, the role of Abu Bakar in Islam is very huge. He he convert a lot of people to follow the Islam religion. So he is as the first so he is one of the first people who join the Islam religion too. And also <coughs> the person and also one of the person who who he convert into Islam is Usman bin Affan is Usman which become the third Khalifah too and also Abu Bakar also joined the Bar War which is at 624 Masehi or 2 Hijriah and the Uhud War at 625 Masehi or 3 Hijriah so Abu Bakar was the first caliph after the death of Prophet Muhammad. So what is the election process like? Process of appointing Abu Bakar as Siddiq as a Khalifa took place in Sokifa Bani Saida. There is a conflict between Muhajirin and Ansar. The Ansar nominated Said bin Ubaidillah, while Muhajirin nominated Abu Ubaidah and Umar bin Khattab. But both of them Reversed and in loud voice, Umar pledged allegiance to Abu Bakar as Khalifa. Isha, do you know about yes. the policies that Abu Bakar as Siddiq did when he became Khalif? Well, during the reign of Abu Bakar as a Khalif, the Islamic Khalif conquered the Syria and Persia and the persia so in syria the so in syria the leader was halid bin walid and at that time abu bakar follow and abu bakar follow the the false prophet war or usually known as yamamah war so <coughs> abu bakar was joined the war and makes Umar bin Khattab uneasy because at the end of the war or the fight many memorizers of the cult of the Quran were killed 
And at that time, the Quran was only spreading to the Prophet Muhammad's best friend. So, they don't write it on a paper. So, because of that, Umar bin Khattab asked Abu, Abu Bakar to, to write the Quran in a paper. And, well... So, from this short story, what lesson that we can take from Abu Bakar? What attitude that we can The follow? example that we can take from the future Abu Bakar is There are one, loyal friend Two, like to help each other And three, the last is Tawaddu Loyal friend Abu Bakar is loyal to friends who are in trouble this loyal friend attitude can be seen when the Prophet Muhammad SAW migrated from Makkah to Yastrib. Abu Bakar made preparation by bringing supplies and accompanying Rasulullah SAW on his journey. 2. Like to help each other. Abu Bakar fit slave who were tortured by their master for embracing Islam. Example of Sefrit by Abu Bakar include Bilal bin Rabbah al Habis, Amir bin Fuhairah, and other. And three, the last, Tawaddu. This attitude was seen when Abu Bakar was appointed as Khalifa. In his political speech, Abu Bakar saw his humility by saying that he was not the best person among the people at the time. Oh, Keisha, do you think enough this discussion? Um, I think it's enough. Uh, I think also enough. So oh, we can close this discussion today. Um, yeah, sure. So this discussion ends here, and I hope this discussion give you helpful knowledge. So we are Rafi, Rafi and Keisha from 7.6 Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh